Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to generate embedded C code in MATLAB Simulink. Okay, here I am using MATLAB Online. Now I will click on start using MATLAB Online and I will share with you how to generate embedded C code. Okay, it will take few seconds to load. We will wait for few seconds. And here you can see the MATLAB. Okay, it is taking time and now I will open Simulink then I will select one project that is speed control of BLDC motor for this Simulink design I will generate embedded C code and I will show you how to generate and later this code you can implement in any controllers Here is the Simulink design and now let me run this file and we will first verify our results. The reference speed is 1170 rpm and in this display you can see the actual speed. Now I will run this and it is compiling, it will take few seconds. Well guys you can see the simulation is running and uh, here you can see the actual speed that is 1165 it is around now it is 1170 rpm okay it is almost equal to reference speed now I will show you how to generate embedded C code just click on apps and then you can see here embedded coder if you don't see embedded coder in your apps then click on add-ons and search embedded C then you can install this app from add-ons once you install click on this arrow mark then you will find your embedded C coder in code generation section just click on embedded coder Please wait for few seconds, it will load. Then click on continue. And then click on build. Okay, it is started generating code. Here you can see if you face any error, then you can fix that error easily. Okay, let me check. Here you can see there is some error. You have to convert variable step into fixed one. Just click on open. Guys, I am using MATLAB online now. It will take some delay. Okay, it will take few seconds to load things. Just wait for few more seconds. Yeah, then change this solver section into fixed type. Okay, fixed step type. Then click on apply. Now I will click on build again. And if it shows any error, then I will fix that error.
now you, you can see it is generating code it will take around 30 seconds or if your internet is speed then it will take around one minute or sorry it will take within it will complete within 20 seconds here one more error is there you can just click on fix it will fix it automatically after fixing you can just click on build again guys it's loading please wait for a few seconds and later this code you can use in any controllers okay you can use in uh, infineon or texas instrument any controllers you can dump this code but you have to do some editing and all okay that is uh, uh, that way is work of embedded engineer and just I am showing you in this video, I am just showing you how to generate embedded code from Simulink. Now it's generating. Let's see if we face any errors, then I will uh, solve that error. If not, it will generate code. Please wait for a few more seconds. Well guys here you can see the code embedded C code still it is compelling we will wait for a few more seconds and uh, along with the .c file you will get .h files many files data files then uh, everything what all things it is required everything you will get once you click on embedded coder. Here you can see new 7 pi bldc dot h then uh, private dot h then types dot h again utility files okay many files it will generate later this code you can implement in any controller this is the way you have to generate code in matlab summoning if you have any doubts any questions you can visit our website there you can add your questions thank you for watching this video have a nice day